Hey there, welcome back to AI Code King. Searching the internet should be free, right? Just like Google, Bing, or multiple other search engines. But now, even search is being monetized by tools like Perplexity. I don't want to pay $1.20 to search for answers to simple questions, and many people would argue that it provides a summary and whatnot. Well, could you trust that AI-generated information? At least, I wouldn't. That's why I've covered multiple perplexity alternatives on my channel. Because, let's be real, what perplexity does can be done by any open-source project if executed correctly. However, the alternatives I've covered either aren't fully local, require paid API keys, or even if they are local and don't use an API key, they don't have a good user interface. And let's be honest, who wants to pay for something that should be free? It's like paying for air, right? But today, I found a new alternative to perplexity that claims to remedy all these issues, and that is Perplexica. Just like the name, it's very similar to Perplexity. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with what it has to offer. You can use local LLMs through Alama with this, and you can also use it with Grok or OpenAI API if needed. This flexibility is really important, as it allows you to choose the best option for your specific use case. For example, if you're working on a project that requires a lot of natural language processing, you might want to use Olama. But if you're working on a project that requires more advanced AI capabilities, you might want to use Grok or OpenAI API. What I love about Perplexica is that it doesn't require any paid API keys for searching. It does all its searches through an open source project called CRXNG which is basically a search engine that can be hosted locally. This means you have full control over your data and can ensure that your searches are private and secure. And let's be real, privacy is a major concern these days. We've all heard the horror stories about companies selling our data to the highest bidder. But with Perplexica, you don't have to worry about that. It also has a co-pilot mode like Perplexity which is really useful for getting instant answers. And it has six focus modes. All mode, which allows you to search the entire web and then summarize the data. Writing assistant mode, which is helpful for writing tasks that don't require searching the web. Academic search mode, which finds articles and papers ideal for academic research. YouTube search mode, which finds YouTube videos based on the search query. Wolfram Alpha Search Mode, which is better suited for queries that need calculations or data analysis using Wolfram Alpha. And Reddit Search Mode, which searches Reddit for discussions and opinions related to the query. So, those were the modes it offers. It can also search for images or videos, just like Perplexity. And the best part is that it's fully customizable, so you can tailor it to your specific needs. For example, if you're a student, you might want to customize it to focus on academic research. Or, if you're a content creator, you might want to customize it to focus on finding relevant images and videos. Now, I'll be telling you how to install it with Olama. So, let's get started with the installation process. First, we'll need to install Alama. Go to Alama's page and click on the download option, then choose your operating system and get it installed. Now, open up their models page and choose Llama 3 and copy this command. Paste it in your terminal and Llama 3 should get installed. You'll see a chat interface in your terminal. So, send a hello message to check if it's working. Now, Let's get Perplexica installed. There are two ways to install this. One is with Docker, and one is without Docker. I'll be using the Docker steps, as it's much easier to do that way. If you don't have Docker installed,
get it installed by going to their site and installing it from there. Now, once that's done, copy this git clone command and paste it in your terminal, and the project will be cloned to your computer. Now, cd into that folder. Now, we'll need to rename the sample config toml file to config toml. You can run this mv command to do it. Now, open the config file and enter the olama URL. You can just copy this URL given on their GitHub page and paste it. Once done, save it. Now, run this command and Perplexica will start running. Now, you should be able to access Perplexica on port 3000. Open it in your browser and you'll see this page. It's pretty similar to Perplexity. On the left, you'll see these options, which I already told you about. Now, click on the Settings option. Here, you'll see Olama in the drop-down. Choose Llama 3 from here and save it. Now, type in your prompt here. You can also click on this option to change your mode and click on the search button to get the results you want. Pretty good. You can also use it with Grok, OpenAI, and all types of models through Olama. Pretty cool. I really like this one. It's fully local and doesn't have any problems. One thing I want to mention is that Perplexica is still a relatively new project, so you might encounter some bugs or issues. But the good news is that the community is very active, and they're working hard to fix any problems that arise. Pretty cool. Let me know if you'll be using it in the comments. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.